the Morphling and Lina can die super quickly in this game if they get caught by anything, and so can the Clinks and Bloodseeker on yeah. the other side. So. You need quick fingers. You got Swap on yep. one side, GA heal on the other. Well, I was wrong. Uh, happy to see him. Not sure there's too much synergy between him and Bloodseeker. Alan jump behind tier one towers on the side lanes a hell of a lot, but he's on the Bloodseeker in this game, working with Moon and Gambit are trying to send a bit of a message towards Eternal Envy. Get the Brewmaster further back. Envy running deeper into the tree lines. If you can just stay hidden for a while, maybe you can survive. Nope, this will be first blood going the way of Sharshlo. Rubik can't stop Sharshlo from dying, however. Once Eternal Envy, they're able to finish the job. And he did it out of range. Oh, no, you're right. He, yeah, Radiant Observer, what was seen. Moon Meander. Oh, he's gone for the Courier FNG. Value! That's Moon Meander's gone. AUI gonna move over. It'll be a uh, quick, easy silence kill from Eternal Envy with the Blood Right. AUI kind of straight to the bottom, snaking. Magic Missile will be able to connect. Dream has the Adaptive Strike and. Whoa! Uh, he tried to go for a really, really. What's the word? Clutch? We're going for the clippable play. Yeah, when we want to say something Ryle. stupid. Perfect magic missile and uh, very quick. The sentry ward, he dropped it under the tower. At the tier one bread and butter for an easily enabled Lena. Snaking, FNG, gonna be pulled back in with Sinister Gaze and Moon Meander and there's what he wanted to do before. Purifying, get the kill with it. Get up in Dream's face. GPK, now rotating, wants to cut through the tree line. He'll need that Life Strike Array up again in a second. Laguna bite the damage, snaking so low, but the one charges give him more life. Purification also off cooldown. GPK hits the Life Strike Array and snaking. Ryle. He's on point. Start it up. Courier. That's a simple kill. Excess Vampire pick up, throw him back. Moon's going to cop a lot of damage underneath the tower. The Blood Right from Envy is going to be off target. With ulti, they still can't control him. They have a silence, they have a sinister gaze, but I don't think they have enough burst damage to actually bring him down at this point. Charshlo's come top. Yep. Battle it out. Charshlo. Well, he just wants to get the outpost to begin with, then they can focus towards snaking while on bottom lane. Vengeful Spirit doing her run away, uh, but caught underneath Eternal Envy. So both outposts controlled by the Dire, stealing the XP from Bandas. Def definitely worth it if all you end up losing is going to be a support Whoa! for the Brewmaster. So some extra minus armor. Uh, Envy, Envy. Bye. There's three players from Gambit in the mid, but the three players from Pandas. I don't know what they're looking for down on bottom lane. Lagunas can come back up in a bit. FNG already with the first time. Charge low. Now into the Brewmaster split. Who's he going to be his primary target? Snaking. Kind of presenting himself as the easiest one. Pick him up. Throw him back down again. The GA protection's there. All flying forth from AUI. Gets Dream nice Salt. FNG being caught. And now GPK will arrive. Laguna Blade's still not up, but one Dragon Slave will end up killing AUI. In fact, it's the illusion from the VS. It's a phase shift off the damage. And AUI will Chain get away from Chain Frost out from Rumi. And it will bounce onto the hero. Shasha being pulled back in again. GPK doesn't pull far enough away, so there's a few hits into Shashlo, but they won't go down. But the rupture, Shashlo, you I are run? dead! Do I stay? That's the question. Blail, spelling it. Trial, underneath the Observer and Sentry. Gotta be a lot more adept to this, and yeah, Moon realizes what's going on. Gets rid of it as quick as he can, but that's already paid dividends for Gambit. Up tower damage and... Uh, oh, Dream Coil. Vampire. Push power. He gets a quick right. pick up over an AUI. Returns to Dream Coil over on three. And you can see Gambit coming as quick as they possibly can. Hoping for a break. Shark Slow quickly to split the chain frost. It does not bounce. GPK hidden inside the smoke. Now he moves forward looking for his target. Oh, the pullback! The swap! Actually saving AUI for the moment. He gets up the hill. Further away. No, he cannot. Dream is hot on the tail. And now they can focus towards the Omni Knight. Snaking still has that ultimate available, but the stuns, the controls. Fortification keeps the creep wave from the tower alive. That was a really nice swap. Dream going instantly in with the wave form, just deleting that ledge. Also, they can't really commit that much to get a kill on. Off the spelling, oh, FNG. no silences. Dust on over on Brawler, trying to break him free. The burning army is down. FNG dies so quickly, but hey, there's more FNGs where that came from. The jump board, Laguna Blade, Lich again being quickly deleted. They do not want that chain frost to deal with. And Dream wants his own target with the VS solution. I think. We'll chill on the trees, come out, clean the wave, and then just jump straight back out again. Whoa, FNG playing with it. AUI going for the tree line. There's more TP support coming over. FNG, wave of terror, trying to get some extra information. They know where the orbs going to go. And Excess Vampire moving very quickly down. And now, Dream Coil. It's out, AUI, swap back in again, FNG wasn't caught inside this, oh, they found the morph on the bottom. Morphling, can he survive through this dream? Mantis style, wave forms away, he's over towards the lane. 
trying to battle underneath his own teammate's protection. Dream, he's in the middle of the blood ride. He's still strength morphing up. FNG lends his stun. Shasho comes in, excess vampire. He's able to actually get the double warning rift, so Dream may die. But Moon Meander, now the split comes out. They haven't landed the GA. Moon is low on life, but once he's still there, she's told GA. So now the aura have turned it around. No more physical damage comes in the opposite direction. Bra feeling very ineffective at the moment. But Envy, he's in the fight. Tracking excess vampire into the tree lane. Bra will finally go down, but GPK here to lend his level of damage. Still a three for two trade off. GPK, he wants more, he wants Envy. He's the bigger one. Keep the chain stuns going with the Lion Striker Ray. Eternal Envy cannot outwalk this one and snaking, doing the best he can to keep his captain alive. But now he's running, juking through the creep waves. Faith Boost giving him this extra maneuverability, but it will not be enough. Omni will fall and Gambit. Smoke maneuver, nice observe ward from FNG. He's looking for the swap, and hey, it's Moon Meander. That's the one you wanna kill. Chain Frost down, swapping in Eternal Envy, even holding the magic missile, not using it on Moon at the very beginning means the GPK can get back to back scalps. Without a Bloodseeker, this Roche going down so quickly. Now that Dream is gonna pick up that Aegis, uh, he's definitely unkillable. Dying. Saves the Brewmaster. That's fortification, keeping the tier 1 tower up once more. If you're right off tier 2 tower in mid. If you don't want to buy a BKB in the heaven, assassination item, you, you go Hex. But I definitely feel like he needs a BKB, especially because Morphling is getting close to his uh, shotgun. And, and, and they're ready. fighting now. Blink up, jump down, Moon Meander. Now the Frost Shield's gonna be stolen. Man, that damage. It's a good rift and a good coil out from AUY. Buyback's already coming from Lynch. They swap back in snaking. He'll have to buy back too. But now the Chain Frost, it goes to work. Shashlo is already heavily split up. He's got two Brulings left to get back out again. But with Lena arriving, they get a little bit more intimidated by the Light Strike Array. He's double buybacks from finding Penis. That may be enough of a victory here for Gambit. But how much more do they want? Oh, hang on, E-Blade arrived. Without Dream Coil, they can't keep them in place. So if it's on cooldown, Gambit can just control a team fight. But Omni Knight feels like he's also getting snapped and picked off. Same with the Lich. Bottom lane, they look towards GPK. What? Dream Coil and all flies out, but uh, there was no initiation in from the Clinks. I love the line. That wasn't too bright. <laughs> Seems like they were not on the same page. Well, he's snaking to able to get the top shrine, but for how long? There's a lot of people coming over. He has an observe ward, and smoke four players on top of him. Is that steal really worth it? You're gone for 72 seconds, and you do not have buyback available. Seems like their plan is to hide in the trees until Gambit dies. <laughs> well, they're gonna kill themselves tripping on roots. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, the ends are not coming. Fifteen thousand lead for Gambit at this point. I mean, even if you land a good coil into Burning Army, Lina attack speed and morph it, Manta style is just gonna clean that up. Sentries, obs, everything gets planted down. They want to see up the high ground. Right now, Pandas have three players on the dire side of the map. Now, TP back one. Things are taking time, though. Envy is still not leaving the top lane. It's like they're accepting the fact that this tier three tower is going to cop a fair chunk of damage. Telescope in the backpack. I think that's what the FNG is pinging out. <laughs> I love how Morphling is sitting inside the base. It's like, all right, now, all right, have we got enough damage? Yep. Creep waves coming in. Full Daedalus on Lena. It's coming from the courier, however. So it's gonna. It's coming from the north. So it'll make its way back. Radiance now smoke sure up for Pandas. They understand that they just lost the Raxes. Well, they're gonna go in. Blink, Silence, Dream Call, Man will break it free. He actually just E-Blades himself. Chain Frost bouncing across most of Gambit, but Moon Meander has lost his life for this one. The Silence should be good on top of only FNG. So maybe, okay, not that good. Spider legs. TV to fight. FNG's looking for a swap tag. He's like, hey, who have I got? AUI comes in close. Brian! Oh, GPK beats through him. You've got that mixed damage. You don't care if the GA pops. In fact, GA even being stolen. stolen. GA. Now the back lines, Eternal Envy, stay right where you are! Triple kill for GPK, I think there's actually just... It's gonna be double buybacks, but they're gonna push for the game. A couple more pickoffs, and that'll work. One buyback, two, ah, ah, ah. That's the Lankin Sphere, Bloodseeker just popped they the can't. ulti on Lina. GPK looks for AUI, they quickly just pop him with the E-Blade. Bryle joins him too, GG is called, 29 minutes, and Gambit. They don't let up, they keep the momentum, momentum going and they made the most of every opportunity that they could find on the map. This is the gambit that I want to see, the aggression from the start until the end. Uh, 
pedal to the metal. Just don't don't allow enemy team to do.